Alrighty, you guys. Um, episode six of the teacher. I forget where I left off at though girl oh damn since you're the nanny I like you to take Kylie out tomorrow night why but then it obvious I want some alone time with Daryl so I was thinking I'd cook some great dinner put on some sexy clothes and tell him I want it uh, and, uh, and tell him you wanted to take Kylie out to the movies to go see Bambi or something. And I made him dinner because I didn't want him to starve. First of all, Bambi's like a hundred years old, girl. Second and second of all, he's a grown man. I don't think. Oh, don't you think he can take care of dinner himself? Of course he can, but I'm sure he'd appreciate the thought and the view. <laughs> Fine. Do what you um. I'm mm. gonna say, what do you want us back? I think around 10 p.m. will be cool. Let's say we eat at six, and then probably take them around an hour or so. And then we have three hours for dessert. <laughs> oh my god! I did not need to hear that. So it's a deal. Fine. Maybe you're not so bad after all, baby face. Girl, my name is motherfucking Mia. Why did I agree to this? I'm gonna better go find out which movie Kylie and I should watch tomorrow. Mr. Collins, <laughs> you startled me. Did the tension exhaust you so much you need to walk with your eyes closed, Miss Rose? He had a mocking tongue to his voice and a hint of a smile on his lips. Why is he doing this? Should I ask him? Well, let's ask, why did he give me detention? I don't give a damn if you heard what Kelly was talking about. I'm getting the feeling that you didn't give me detention for the reason you said you were. Oh, really? Why else would I give you detention? I don't know. I don't know either. Do you have a problem with me, sir, with me, Mr. Collins? I'm a straight-A student. I never cause trouble in class, and even when the entire class can hear Kelly talking, you choose to give me detention for asking her to be quiet. I don't have a problem with you, Miss Rose. Okay. Seriously, I don't. I actually think you're a nice girl. But I can't play favoritism just because we live together. I give the tension where detention is due. Fine, if you say so. You're the teacher. So, about cheering Kylie up. Have you figured out where, you're, where to take us? Actually, I was thinking a picnic in Central Park. What do you think? Oh, that's a great idea. My dad and I used to do that when I was a kid. Every summer, in the same place. Great, sounds like you're a picnic pro, so I'm sure you and your dad found the best spot. Mind if we use it? Not at all, but only this one time. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll take care of the food for the trip. Thanks a lot, Mia. I mean, Miss Rose. Um, If you want to call me Mia when we're home, you can. Thank you, I appreciate it, Miss Rose. Okay, girl, whatever. Don't give him permission. No, no, no. Let that bitch call you Miss Rose for the rest of your life, oh. <laughs> I'll take that as another end. <laughs> the next day. <laughs> hey Kev Hey Mia How's it going? Well Kylie is great But Cassie and Mr. Collins are Kind of hard to deal with What do you mean? What have they done? Well Case, 
Cassie basically said that if I didn't help her win over Mr. Collins, then she would make my life miserable. So I have to take Kylie to the movies tonight so that she can get some alone time with Mr. Collins. Wow, okay, she knows what she wants. Are you going to let her snatch... Wait, so are you just going to let her snatch Mr. Collins? Honestly, she can have him. His mood swings are kind of giving me whip, giving me a whiplash. Girl, who you tell him? One moment he's nice and good to talk to, but then he suddenly becomes cold and unappro- unapproachable. I was about to say unappreciated, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I really I don't really know what he thinks of me. I'm afraid he doesn't like me very much. Hmm. Maybe he's just maybe he just thinks it's awkward to live with his two I think it's awkward too, Cal's. Um, uh, speaking of the devil. Can you carry your ass on down the fucking hallway? The hall went silent as he entered, stopping right in front of us. The, the girl started to whisper and giggle. He had a pretty stupid not wait. He, he he had to be pretty stupid not to know what he was doing to all of these girls, including me. Um, right across from me, um, Madeline, Macy, and Laura were. All were swing as well. Oh my god, he looked at me. Girl, get the fuck. It's crazy. All the girls in school are talking about him. I even heard Principal Cho say she thinks he's dreaming while talking to Miss Wells. No, one of Wells. Wells. I don't know why I call her Dwells. I think he's overrated. You're all acting like he's some kind of celebrity. I mean, look at him. He knows he's handsome. He seems pretty arrogant to me. I don't care if he's arrogant. He could be a jerk and I still wouldn't care. I'm just grateful there's finally something interesting happening in Woodstock High. He brightens up these dull hallways for sure. Girl. Okay. I gotta tell him I'm taking Kylie out for a movie tonight. This is the last time I'll help Cassie to get close. Yeah. Um, Mr. Collins, can I talk to you for a minute? Miss Rose. Sure. What's up? I was thinking about taking Kylie out for a movie tonight. Cheer up a bit. That's really nice of you, Miss Rose. But Kylie texted me an hour ago and asked me if she would, if it was okay she slept over in Michelle's tonight. What? I mean, okay. I guess I just um uh, are you okay you seem nervous again i'm good i'm good okay i'll see you at home then i guess so okay great i guess i can just watch a movie in my room oh girl go the fuck out ain't no fucking party spot bitch Um, Cassie, things didn't go as planned. What do you mean? Kylie's sleeping over at Michelle's tonight. Oh, that's even better. We've got all night then. First of all, ill. Second of all, what about me? Don't you have a boyfriend or a friend you can crash with? I don't have many friends. I have Kelly, but she's with Nick tonight. Then go to a hotel or something. Mm. that's pretty expensive to rent a hotel room Cassie unless you're planning on paying you can forget it thank you girl and stop bossing me around I'm tired I tried to help you fine but don't think you're having dinner with me and with their enemy I'd also just suggest you sleep with earplugs tonight you don't <laughs> and don't come out of your room girl this is ridiculous why can't I leave my room Let's just say I find the bedroom pretty boring sometimes. Fine. I'm going to run. Fine. Daryl could be home any minute now. Do me a favor and go upstairs straight away when you get back, okay? 
why girl because i don't want him to lose his appetite wow you're seriously mean i know mm. he's a bitch i like running i'm good at running it takes my mind off things the conversation I just had with Cassie left me needing some air. I love Woodstock when it comes to needing some outdoor time. Well, some time outdoors. Sorry, yeah. I'm thankful to have grown up here. I love New York City, but it's never going to be Woodstock with this charming parks. Meadows, creeks, lakes, and pine woods. I feel lucky for valuing nature. Not many kids do these days, unfortunately. It's a beautiful little town. I feel like everybody knows each other and out to look away oh and look out for each other here. I remember when mom died the whole time knew before dad and I got to tell everyone else ourselves. Flowers came from all over the city the following days, cards, chocolate, cakes, cookies. All the people who hoped they could brighten up our day a little. Some even brought me teddy bears. I will always remember how that how people took care of us when we needed it. My dad needed it a lot. I didn't fully understand it that she never tucked me in again or cooked me my favorite meals again. When it begins to sink in, I fall down hard. Dad didn't know what to do well I fell down hard that didn't know what to do I never got rebellious or difficult I simply became very shy and introvert introverted that's why I don't have many friends today either I only have Kelly Kelly she's she stood by me the rest of my classmates who will disappear as soon as we graduate high school we will be scattered to the four winds. Uh, I don't mind. Honestly, I don't mind. They're only associates after all. It's getting dark, so I better head back home before it's too dark. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I hope Mr. Collins wouldn't fall for Cassie's little plan. Hope he would show up. I well, hope he would show me he was better than that and smarter than that. I wanted to run home to check whether or not he played along with her game. But at the same time, I was afraid to find out if he's that kind of guy. Especially after Miss Collins told me about his many girlfriends. Girl, many, many child. That's what she was saying. He was a hoe. But then she gonna try to say he ain't no player. I think... The only thing I need right now is to get inside and take a nice long soak in the tub. Pamper myself and end the night with a good movie and some ice cream. Why don't you go to your dad's house, girl? No, just had my fingers crossed I wouldn't run into, run, walk in on something I'd never unsee again. As I step inside the mansion, I can hear romantic music coming from the kitchen. I thought I might as well just run up and get in the tub, no looking back, even though I wanted to. I wanted to spy on them. I wanted to see how he was acting around her because mm, not jealous. I wanted to get him known better. I guess it's because I want to know him, the real him. I felt like I got a glimpse of who he was when... Cassie called me a nun. He laughed, which probably indicates he's got a dirty sense of humor. <laughs> not exactly my cup of tea. Uh, I'm not good at telling dirty jokes, and I get awkward hearing them. I grabbed my PJs and my phone so I could soak in the tub with some relaxing music. Girl... Don't tell me you about to walk in on his ass.
Play the special thing, I guess. I grabbed the door handle and opened the door. Oh, shit. <laughs> In front of me stood a wet, barely covered Mr. Collins. He was surrounded by steam and water dripping from his hair down to his muscular Oh my Jesus, I cannot believe that he just walked in the bathroom with his bed. He was holding a towel over his head. Like, I just walked in on him drying his hair. He looked surprisingly chill at me, and I was sure I could almost see him smiling at me. I just stood there like an idiot with my mouth open wide, and my hands still on the door handle. <laughs> I, I'm I'm so sorry, Mr. Collins. I stuttered. He smiled to himself and continued to dry his hair. I knew it was him casually suggesting and expecting me to close the door again. But I couldn't. I was frozen. I couldn't take my eyes off his <laughs> dripping wet body. <laughs> I kept looking up and down. I kept looking up and down at him. Right until he said, Diet and exercise. What? <laughs> I didn't dare to look at him, so I just so I looked down into the damp floor tiles. So I got this body, he said, smirking. Oh, girl, you real full of your damn self. Um, okay, it's very nice. A bit my lip, praying he didn't hear that. <laughs> uh, thank you, Miss Rose. He smiled at me, lifting the brow. We both knew it was extremely inappropriate. I nodded. My cheeks were burning red. I finally managed to close the door. Girl! <laughs> oh my god, child, you're stressing me out. <laughs> I was leaning against the door with my hand, with one hand on my heart, the other one on my forehead. <laughs> it's very nice. What the hell, Mia? <laughs> I felt like I was going to die of shans. <laughs> I smacked my head in frustration. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys! So don't let me move my position. How was I ever going to be able to look at him in the eyes again? <laughs> oh damn. <laughs> Oh, okay, you guys. All right, I'm going to post this. This is getting good. I'm about to play the next one. <laughs>